Remember when I told you that mountain biking was one of my most favorite things to do in the world? Well, skiing's the other one. Nothing but pure heavenly applied physics. Woo! This lesson focuses on a set of rules. The purpose of these rules is to help us analyze a complex circuit. These rules are known as Kirchhoff's rules. The first rule is known as the junction rule. A junction is any place where you have to make a decision about which direction to take. You might peel off to the left or to the right or simply go straight ahead. A ski area with its chairlift and ski runs serve perfectly to illustrate the concept of the junction rule. Let's consider 100 people riding the chairlift to the top. Once at the top, every one of those people have to get off at the same spot. But once at the top, each person must decide which run they want to take to the bottom if they want to ride this chairlift again. So if 100 people enter the runs at the top and they all want to ride the lift again, then 100 people must exit the runs at the bottom to get back on the lift. That same thing can be seen in an electric circuit. If 100 charges enter a junction, then 100 charges must exit the bottom end of that junction. The junction rule is a statement of the conservation of electric charge. If 100 people enter the runs at the top and want to ride this lift, then 100 people must exit the runs at the bottom to get on that lift. Same thing with electric charge. If 100 charges enter a junction, then 100 charges have to exit the junction on the bottom end. Once again, the junction rule is a statement of the conservation of electric charge. All charge has to be accounted for. The second rule is called the loop rule. Now, in an electric circuit, as you enter a junction, each one of those junction directions is a path that has a complete loop. Recall, for a current to actually be present, it must have a complete loop in which to follow. Once again, this ski area serves perfectly to illustrate the concept of the loop rule. Let's look and focus specifically on the chairlift. We're at the bottom of the chairlift where we can consider the gravitational potential energy to be zero. So we'll call where you get on the chairlift the zero level. Now the whole purpose of the chairlift is to take you up the hill. Well, in taking you up the hill, it gives you gravitational potential energy, or GPE. Once at the top of the hill, you make your way down. Regardless of which run you take, you are using up the GPE that was given to you by the lift in skiing downhill. Now, once you get back to the bottom of this lift, you have reached the zero level and have used all the energy that was given to you in the first place. So you started with zero energy, you gained a lot of energy, you lost that same amount of energy, and are again back at zero. The same illustration is used in a loop rule in an electric circuit. Whatever energy an electric charge has, as it starts that loop, it uses while in the loop, coming back to its starting point with zero energy. The loop rule is a statement of conservation of energy. Whatever energy you start with or gain, you must lose before you come back to that point. Once again, the loop rule is a statement of the conservation of energy. This lesson will focus on the application of both the junction rule and the loop rule to a complex circuit. Well, the lifts are still running, the sun's still up, and I still got a ticket. You head back to the classroom, I'm gonna go for a few more runs. See you later.